Chief Elections Officer, CEO of the Ghani Elections Commission, GCOM, Keith Lowenfield, has filed an application at the courts seeking an order preventing government-nominated GCOM Commissioner Sais Gunraj and Bibi Shadik from participating in the discussion of the motion tabled for his immediate dismissal. This application was filed on Tuesday by Lowenfield's attorney at law, Nigel Hughes, at the High Court. GCOM is a named respondent in the application. Lowenfield in the application has asked for a declaration that he is entitled to the protection of the rules of natural justice and the right to a fair hearing and the determination for the motion of his dismissal brought by Gunraj and seconded by Shadiq. He has also sought an order restraining Gunraj and Shadiq from participating as adjudicators in the hearing of the motion for his dismissal, which was moved by the two commissioners. Lowenfield, in his application, seeks a declaration that the government-nominated commissioners cannot properly participate, hear, and determine their own complaint against him. The application also seeks a declaration that the respondent, which is GCOM, having determined that there shall be a hearing of the motion of Lowenfield, is bound to provide him with a fair hearing, including the protections of the rules of natural justice. Listing the grounds for the application, Lowenfield said, among other things, that he was entitled to the rules of natural justice to a fair hearing, including the right not to have the complainants participate as adjudicators in the hearing of their own complaints against him. This, he contended, was in keeping with his employment contract with GCOM. Lowenfield also contended that the participation of Gunraj and Shadiq in the deliberations of his dismissal infected the deliberations of the commission with bias. Last month, a motion to immediately dismiss the embattled Lowenfield was moved by Gunraj, while Shadiq moved another motion to remove his deputy, Roxanne Myers. The third motion was moved by Commissioner Manoj Narayan, seeking the immediate dismissal of District No. 4 returning officer, Claremont Mingo. The trio is accused of electoral fraud committed last year during the March 2020 regional and general elections. Importantly, with the current makeup of the commission, that is, three government-nominated commissioners and three opposition-nominated commissioners, in addition to the chairperson, the success of these motions now rely essentially on the vote of GCAM chairperson, Justice-retired Claudette Singh. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Raghavir.